but I truly stretched away. I'm from Mazio Jemba's compound. Of his second village. Yes. The one who died last year. Yes. What's the name? Pascal. Okay. You can go now, huh? Okay. He gives me wings to fly. Excited. Uh, tell me, what happened? Smart. I met your wife in the village. My wife? She's just the picture of the girl of your dream. Her beauty will strike you dumb. How are you even too sure that if I see her, I will like her? What do you mean? Eh? Did you stay with me all these years for nothing? Oh, you think I don't know what suits you and what doesn't anymore? Eh? Okay. Okay, that's it. I'm sorry now. Uh, that's it. It's fine now. <laughs> Did you ask all the necessary questions you are supposed to ask? Good. I made very secret inquiries. She's a good girl. With a spotless background. A scent. <laughs> I mean a scent. <laughs> Compared to all these trash kids. Oh, auntie is my auntie. <laughs> so, uh, when are we going to see her? Don't rush things. Relax. Yeah? <laughs> 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 Relax, man. 
smart. <laughs> like I said before, she's a good girl. Well behaved girl from the village. So we have to do things traditionally. Anyway. Slowly. Very good. Oh, auntie is my auntie. I'm so proud of you, auntie. I love you. <laughs> so, what do I get for you? I'll take one. And you deserve it. Oh, you deserve it. Anything you say, I will do for you. Auntie. We have heard all you said, and we want to assure you that our daughter has all that any reasonable man would want in a woman am i right my son yes sir <laughs> my son you made a great choice i am a man of honor so i will tell you the whole truth pascaline will make a good wife to you hi elders i greet you all you're Thank welcome you, my daughter it is true that in this type of vocation in our land, women are not meant to speak. Yes, yes. But since smart parents died in a car accident years ago, mm. I have become both his father and mother. And the evil. So I shall have to speak. Go ahead. Go ahead. Speak. speak. First, before I speak, I would like to know if my in-law has anything to say. <laughs> I am happy. Who am I to question God? Oh. Eh? You know, Pascaline, it's all I've got. Ofumbula nyam jia hongzo. Aye jimbo bulog. Who is going to fetch the firewood and water for me? <laughs> but I don't have to live with her forever. Mbano, are they me, man? Glory be to God. Please, um, can you make a little effort to get some drinks for our guests? There's no money for drinks at home. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll give you some money to get them, okay? Okay? Okay. okay. Hey. All this for drinks? Don't worry, just hurry up, okay? Drinks one. Okay. Oh, this one for drinks. Yeah. Um, so, Mama, I know that uh, Pascaline is your loved child. I promise that uh, I will take care of her with all the care and love that befits an only child. I also <laughs> promise to take care of you like my mother to the best of my ability. That's all right, my son. As she is my daughter, so will I take you as my own son. My son, you've spoken very well. God be with all of you. Amen. 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 <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Do you know I really do not understand why he chose a village girl? I mean, Smart has tons and tons of classy girls to choose a wife from back in town. Why? Caesar, I know, I know. But most times you never know what a man is looking for in a wife. Look, if Smart says it's her, then who are we to say anything different? Oh, well, that could be true, but honestly speaking, I, I, I still cannot understand it. To be very frank with you, I... Uh, but come to think of it, this girl is pretty, you know? Yeah. She's pretty. All she needs is one touch. And she's there. Yeah, right. that's what you're talking about. <laughs> what I'm saying is, the girl is too timid. She's too timid. You know how long it's going to take this guy to bring her up to that class? Boy, you need to understand me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cheers, man. Oh, well, well, cheers. well, 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 well. We, your dear close friends from Do Hereby, regret to announce your sudden departure from the Bachelors. Club! Yeah, you can't say that again. <laughs> Could have been avoided. It was quite inevitable, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a very inevitable development, I must say. After all, he that findeth a wife. Findeth a thing. And obtains favor from God. Uh huh. At least we trust that um, in the fullness of time, your highly irrepressible personality will help nurture, groom, you know, bring her up to the full standard of a woman of class, style, and... Hey, what? You know what I'm talking about? Look, let me tell you. All this your flamboyant grammar doesn't deceive anyone anymore. <laughs> Listen, smart. In plain terms, okay? Just brush her off. <gasps> Pastor Isaiah. Pastor Isaiah. Isaiah the good man. Ah. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Yes. Um, sorry to disturb you. I just wanted to tell you that your food is ready. You can come and eat now. All right, honey. Mm. <laughs> oh, you boy. Did you see that? Oh, wow, wow, wow. Um, um, guys, um, food is ready. <laughs> Let's go have some good homemade food. You bet. <laughs> What's happening? I'm crying, I'm crying. Uh, we need to talk immediately, please. All right, all right, all right. How fast can you get to my place, please? Um, let's say um, I'll be there in the next um, 10, 15 minutes. All right, all right. Please, uh, I'll be waiting for you, okay? All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. When the phone is ringing like it just did, uh, then after answering the call, when you finish, you press the red one to end it. Okay. Do you understand now? Okay, so try it and see. 
<laughs> okay, I know you're going to uh, do better. Hmm? So, must I fail? Like I said, see the green button here, right? That's what you will have to press when it's ringing like that, eh? then you end it with this. <laughs> Uh, so honey, you hold the fork firmly with your left. All right? All right do it. No, now like this. Look at my hand, like this. Hmm? I don't need to feel this first. Eh? Now you do the same with the knife on your right, like this. Oh, remove the right. Look at it. The way you held the fork. Exactly. Now you slowly pack the food with the knife on the fork. Like this. I try it. Alright, then you convey to your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so don't worry. Eh? Now relax. Mm -hmm. okay. Relax. Breathe in. <laughs> <laughs> We are going to try it again. You're doing very well, okay? okay. Like this. Then you pack the food. You pack the food. There I go. Um, <laughs> you're doing well. That's my girl. <laughs> okay. Faster. You step faster. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Slowly. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> that's my baby. Okay. Oh, um, <laughs> oh baby, I'm so proud of you. Now, it's the days glass. Okay, it's not mm. supposed to be for water. Yeah, it's a wine glass. Now, in case you go out hmm, for a dinner or something okay look at how you're going to hold it you hold it this way have you seen it yeah. okay now try it let's see <coughs> no now this way hold it here yeah. then you see the the drink inside it's supposed to be wine okay you sip it just like this mm -hmm. you're drinking it mm -hmm. you sip it sip it mm -hmm. like Exactly. <laughs> you're doing well. Oh, baby, you're too much. <laughs> this is beautiful, baby. I'm so proud of you. Hey, what? Are you born? <laughs> Well, I just came around to see how well uh, you are settling down in your new boutique and I think you're doing quite great. Yeah, you're yeah. doing very well. <laughs> She's doing quite well. <laughs> anyway, I have to leave now. Okay. Oh, I'm really sorry. I almost forgot to introduce my friends to you. Anyway, these are my closest friends, Marta and Mary. And this is my husband's friend, Caesar. 
You're twins? Yeah, paternal twins. Yeah. She's my younger twin sister. She's my senior twin sister. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys say the same thing. Anyway, I see you folks, man. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah. All right, let me see you more. Bye. Okay. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. So, what do you think about him? Him? Yeah. yeah. Who? Caesar. Next to nothing. How? Quite obvious. No personality, zero brain, average money. I guess he's not even good in bed. Excuse me. Let's change the topic. Wow. What's the name of this? You know, I don't understand this. Understand what? You know, this this man, my my husband's friend, Caesar, he keeps asking me to come to his house alone. I feel it's not right to go to his place without smart, but he keeps insisting. And? Do you know he, he, he even offered me 5,000 Naira as transport money to his house? And what did you do with it? Huh? I refused, of course. I refused. <laughs> that is funny. Wait, Pascaline, so you still make this kind of mistakes? I mean, marry you to man with responsibilities. You don't, you don't expect me to... Excuse me. Please, stop giving us your... Good married woman treatment. We don't need it. Pascaline, the world has not stopped rotating because they're a married woman with res responsibilities. Mm -hmm. eh? Come, things are happening around you. Open your eyes. A pretty woman like you. You know, different people are doing different things to make money at different levels. We women are controlling the city. And you're here managing a two penny boutique and being a married woman with responsibilities. Open your eyes and live in the money. Within the money. I'm right inside the money, baby. <laughs> Open your eyes now. <laughs> Auntie now. Ah! <laughs> hey, Agomo! Agom, oh, Mama. You are welcome. Thank you. Hey, how are you? How are they? <laughs> hey, they won Agom. When did you come back? We are fine. I just came back yesterday. Eh? Pascal Mwangpano and Agom. <sighs> how are they? They oh, said I should you greet you. And also, I should give you this. Eh, yeah, mm. for me. Now, who no man now? Hey! Ije unwa, ije ma ke, ije unwa, ije ma ke, ije unwa, ke ije ma ke. Eh, for me alone. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. It's not finished yet. Smart said, I should also give you this. What is this one? I don't know. Ego Ibo! Any way for the mark and Ego Ibo! Hey! Hey, for me! Hold it, hold it. Ego Ibo! God, I thank you. You are welcome, my daughter. I'm about preparing a Unubu soup. Eh. Now that you're here, I'm going to prepare a special. And I will add more ogre. <laughs> eh? Take her inside the house. I will join you soonest, eh?
go for a grab. My name is uh, Chief Albert Dandy, the CEO of uh, Infinity Merchant Bank. Please, can I meet you? <laughs> My name is uh, Pascaline Okoye. Pascaline? Yeah. Ah, what exceptional name for an exceptionally pretty young lady. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, please don't be offended though. How about having lunch with me sometime this week? Who knows, maybe we could relate on one or two issues. Okay. Thank you very much. And, um, yes, here's my card. Please feel free to give me a call anytime that you are ready so that um, we can make a ring. No problem. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you very much. And please drive with care. Okay, so what's up now? Nothing is up now. We've waited. Your sales girl told us you were coming back very soon. I, I don't know. Her, and we could have left long ago to see Alaj. Alaj, which one? Ah, uh, you don't forget so soon. The man we were discussing that are you business with now? Alaj, Idris. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry, I have a lot on my mind, Jare. Mm. Hey. I met this man. Oh. He said his name is. Uh, what's that his name? Chief. Chief uh, Abadandio. Ah! Wait, wait. The CEO of the Fifty Merchant Bank. I don't know. Anyway, he gave me his card. He said um, when I'm uh, when I'm less busy, I should call him. Okay, okay. You are not interested, huh? You are not interested. Give him to me. Give him to me and see what I will extract from his financial model. And who told you she's not interested? She's not interested. Where? Well, let her be now. I'm not. Stop. See, she has not come to the terms of believe, as in living in the money. Within the money. And right inside the money. <laughs> We're already late for the appointment. I'm ready. I was just putting some finishing touches. You've changed your perfume. Perfume? Anyway, I saw your checkbook today and you've withdrawn so much money from it. I wonder what you used the money for. <laughs> well, I... <laughs> I'm just telling you because your business is new and I hope 
From the amount of salt there, you have not eaten into your capital. I... Let's drop the topic for now. Hmm? Just hurry up. We are late for the appointment, okay? Okay. I'll be waiting for you downstairs. I'll be there in a, in a minute. Please, I have a terrible headache. Eh? I have a terrible headache. Not today. Ordinarily, I would have said um, the things does not warrant any um, cause for alarm. But I have my nagging suspicion. Exactly, exactly what Isaiah. Huh. Smart. I think you should listen to your instinct. Instincts, indeed, and create unnecessary problems for an innocent girl. Hello guys. Hi. I'm really sorry I haven't come out earlier to say hi. I've been very busy in the kitchen. I hope you're not angry. No, 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 no. no. It's okay. I'll be right, right back. Oh, okay. okay. Baby, you look good. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> I'll be right back. Yeah, what? <laughs> Smart. It is all about listening to yourself. You see, I'm not asking you to take any drastic measure. But I want you to watch her more. Watch fire. Watch fire. My friend, don't listen to this guy. Smart. I am not asking you to listen to me. But listen to yourself. 
and if you feel at ease within yourself, then fine. If you would take my advice, Mark, I will ask that you don't mind this guy. He's just being an alarmist as usual. Smart. The choice is yours. Give me I should give this love away Give me reason I should try Oh yeah Give me reason I should make them cry Excuse me, hear me When you're have me Mata, I really hope this guy is worth the whole trouble of Sure Please, you don't have to trust me. Mm. This guy is cute, mm -hmm. fresh, uh, and young. Uh, you know me. You know, I always go for the best and nothing but the best. Okay, Shad, I know you won't go for anything less. Of you won't go for anything less. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what about um, Mary? Mm. How is she doing? She's fine. She's fine. She's, She's fine. okay. Yeah. You're sure? Yeah. It's been a long time I saw her. Mata, check out this block. <laughs> That's Stanley. Pretty, isn't she? Yeah, she's pretty. <laughs> the guy from, you know, all we pretty ladies are not too good with men. Like, you know, men like you. <laughs> anyway, what are you going to have? What are you going to bring? Um, soft. Soft. Waiter. All right. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, please. How will I bring first, sir? Coke. I can see you guys have a lot to catch up on. You guys just won. Why don't you bring him to the boutique one of these days? Okay. Alright? Okay. <laughs> This is the top D and C you are going through in six months. Huh? A married woman like you. What's the problem? Doctor, I think I know where you're heading to. What? No, please. Don't do this. What are you trying to do? Please, 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 please. Alright. I can get somebody else to do this, you know. I know I reserve the right to say no. Is that what you're saying? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no, relax. Relax, doctor. You should have said that a long time ago. Instead of wasting my time. Look, uh, look madam, please, let's reason to be sit. Sit down, let's reason to be sit. Sit down please. and do what? And waste more of the time I don't have? I don't think so. Have a good day. Azaya. Why did you bring me here? Smart. All I'm trying to tell you is that you should have a heart to heart talk with her. Help her to understand that it's all over town. And that you are ready to forgive her once she is ready to stop. Do you know the implications of what you have just said? Smart, I knew I was going to risk your anger when I decided to bring you here to tell you this. But if I don't tell you this, then who will? Pascaline is making waves all over town with men.
Did you see her? No, I, I didn't. But I know about it. I know about it. <sighs> Look, as smart, I, I know how much you love me. No, you don't! Isaiah, no, you don't! If you knew how much I love her, you wouldn't come here to tell me rubbish on the hearsay. Come on, smart. Do you understand what you have just said? Hey, smart, is not... Smart is not Do you want to break up my family? Hey, smart is not Do you want smart. to end my happiness? Do you want to end my happiness? I say, smart. Come on, calm down. Listen, it's not what you think, okay? Do you know what you have just said? Do you know the implications of. Smart, you've got to listen to me. Look, smart. I know how much you love. Stop! Before I lose my mind, stop before I hurt you. Easy, easy, smart. Come on, smart is not what you think. You were meant to be my best friend, isn't it? Now I know you are my worst enemy. Smart, I am trying to help you. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am trying to help you. So, you brought me all the way from town to God knows where. Come on. To tell me right. about my wife promiscuity. Smart, I'm trying to help you for God's sake. All right, let me give you a message to her. Bastard. Don't you ever in your life get close to my family. Do you? Yes, yes. Bastard. <laughs> Smart, smart. <laughs> Chiki, why is it that you have um, not been visiting recently? Or are you and uh, Mary Corelli? No, not at all. You see, it's just that uh, work ties me up too much these days. That's Chiki, work. Work. I'm serious. Uh, I'm serious. <laughs> Anyway, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you say you don't want anything? No, I'm alright. It's okay. No. Cass, we have to be on our way. So soon? Yes. You know, we have something to catch. Something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, hey, check it. You, you have to visit more often. No? Ah, you have to visit more often. Or else someone more serious will take her away from you. It's She's really trying for you. It's alright. It's alright. Uh, what about her losing me? Losing you to who? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, You are here. Welcome. Well, the reason I summoned you to my house is to ask you an important question. A question I would have asked you long ago, were it not for the doctor patient confidentiality situation that existed between your wife and me. Doctor. What information do you want? What is it? What happened? Did you at any point in time take a decision with your wife not to have children yet? Jesus Christ. Smart? Smart? Doctor. How? Okay. Why? It's okay, it's okay. Who said so? Calm down, calm down. You see, 
I hesitate to give this information. But for the fact that I have been your doctor for a very long time now, I think I shall have to give it up. Doctor, what information are you talking about? Calm, calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay, okay, it's alright. Can we hear it now, doctor? Your wife had had two abortions in the past four months. And only yesterday, she walked into my office requesting I help her perform the third one. So, I vehemently opposed it. I said I wouldn't do that until I seen you. Now I can create an avenue to discuss with you first. Smart? Smart? Doctor, are you sure of what you have just told me now? This shows you don't trust me anymore. Smart! Smart! The question is, have you been aborting babies? Excuse me? Exactly what I said. I was with Dr. Sadebe today. He had a lot to tell me. Pascaline, you're pregnant. How come? Because we've not made love for months. Explain that. Immaculate conception, isn't it? Smart. I am definitely not going to take any of this rubbish from you. But you will take it from other men. For any other man. Shut up, little liar! Shut up! Smart. You call me a liar? Smart, you come in here, someone tells you something, and you don't even bother to cross check for me, and you start calling me a liar for Shut that little lying mouth of yours! Smart, but very careful what you say to me! Shut Well, 
That's good. That's good. Okay. What if I told you that this apartment belongs to you? To me? Yeah, to you. These are the keys. Oh, you are a darling. <laughs> I do that you. Hey, 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 wait before this exciting really starts. Please, I wouldn't want anybody to know about this arrangement. Mm. Not even Martha. You know she still loves you. I know she does though, but is you a woman? Mm -hmm. That's what all you guys say. Anyway, I have to rush off to the supermarket now. But I'll be coming back in the evening. Would that be okay by you? Mm, it's okay by you. Alright. Oh. <laughs> Be giving me ultimatums. <clears throat> you have no choice, my dear Pascaline. If you want back your wedding rank, it's quite simple. Just come over to the hotel room, smile your way into that bed, and open out those beautiful eyes. That's all. How do you? How dare I what? As for a simple thing that everyone's getting. Anyway, just remember tomorrow evening is your deadline. Come on, what is the problem? I mean, you've got to give to God what is God's and to Caesar what is Caesar's. Those words are not mine. They are of the Bible, baby. You gotta understand. Go to hell, Caesar, and get out of my shop. Get out of my shop now!
ASMR. Sandra! Sandra! Ma! Come here. I just smiled my way into the bed. So? <laughs> Aren't we forgetting something? No, we're not. shouted at him but he was throwing so many accusations at me I lost my temper I was and I still am very sorry about it all so Pascali what you're saying is that you've not had an abortion since you got married to smart Auntie, why would I do a thing like that I have never done anything of that sort that's so Auntie, it was that doctor's word against mine and Smart decided to believe the doctor, hook, line, and sinker, instead of me, his wife. Why would Dr. Sadebe, my personal doctor, for the past 20 years, tell lies against you, Pascal? You know when a man wants something from you? And you don't want... And you don't want! Eh? And you don't want, Pascal! Why haven't you been making love to your husband for the past few years? Huh? Auntie, you won't understand. Understand what? Understand what, my dear? Your complete metamorphosis from a raw model to a slut of the highest order. Auntie, please, I have a good mind to bond you straight back to your mother. But Smart loves you too much. I don't want to believe it. But I recognize all the signs. I should have allowed Smart to do what he has in mind. So, Caesar, what is it you want this time? Pascaline, please, please. I, I, I've got to admit I treated you so badly the other day we were together. But frankly speaking, Pascal, I still can't get you off my mind. <laughs> Man, when they want you, they come back. Caesar. You have the guts to come back to me after what you did to me the last time. Saska, please. I mean, I've fallen seriously for you. Please. Please. Just look at you. You are my husband's best friend, for Christ's sake. And you come here, asking me, begging me to go to bed with me. What a rotten world. God! See, it's not no, you listen to me. Listen to me. You listen to me, Caesar. I really don't have any time for you. I don't even want to hear you. you... Who is that madman? Who is not in this gate like this? So it is you that is not in this gate like this. Pascaline, you can't harass no, me. No, 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 can I see Pascaline? No, look at my car, bro. Okay, open the gate. Open the gate. Get, get, get out. Get out. Oh, good. Good. Ah! Chief, Chief, out, out, out of my way. What is it? Okay. What is it? Calm down, okay? Calm down. What is, it? what is the problem? Calm down. I want to end her life. Well, she has ended my life. But you're still alive, Chief. Obviously, she couldn't have ended your life. Did I hear you say alive? That I am still alive when she has almost ruined me and my family. And you are here talking about her life. I don't seem to understand. Yes! You will never understand it, though. You won't understand it! You are not part of it. Ah! Okay. Okay. Don't do this as ending. Because I will get back to you. 
I will still get back to you. Okay. Tell him what is it again? I don't know him. I don't know this man. So mad that you've achieved your worst, haven't you? What do you mean, Stanley? Look at that. You tend to be surprised. You've given me eight and now you are satisfied? What? 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 Just say? My name of you is death. Now she has done her worst. Next time she tried this thing, I'll kill her. Stanley, excuse me. You are the only person I've come to pay with her CD. I, Stanley, Stanley, you have killed me. You have killed me. Stop, please. Leave me alone, Jerry. Stanley! <laughs> I, I told you about my sister. You want nothing. You want my candy. Oh, why not? I can't get it. Mama, please. No, no. I believe, Mama. <laughs> the doctor confirmed that matter was positive. After standing left, we confirmed from an authentic source that he had contacted you from the closure and passed away. Are you sure? Yes, what is it? What is it? What is it? I just felt uh, but are you really sure it was true, Pascal? Forgiveness for what? The doctor has confirmed me positive. Positive? What are you talking about? Eight. Eight. Sir, what? How did it happen? How? The wife, that's coming. Pascal. 
Caesar, please, I don't understand you anymore. What exactly are you talking about? Smart, could you just please sit down and let me explain, okay? You know, you never really understood me. But I want you to understand this one thing. Isaiah is your only true friend. No! Stop! Yes. I'm smart. Yes. You can now see the kind of friend I've been to you. Forgive me, it's not I am so of your love making playing with heart. but I couldn't tell myself the truth it kept me for so much love I thought I was enjoying myself but I gave so much love everywhere I went Everybody looked at me, even girls. Men fell over themselves, offering me money, glamour, everything. You went into my head. I lost my mind. My sure side of my hands. I'm dancing in a tease. Please forgive me. Can't be so trust
have I done? Hey, 
look at. Let me see. They say Pascalie, she has no eggs, says the doctor. Women's magazine. I am as free. Pascal. Man. Wow. Pascaline free at last. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Please, so come over. What if you just take a look at this? Isaiah, my only friend. Isaiah the good man. I'm sincerely sorry for all I have done to you. I am very, very sorry. Please, I've come to ask for your forgiveness. Please. I understand. I understand. I... I wanted you to understand that uh, I... Understand everything. Caesar called me this morning and confirmed that he didn't have the disease. As a matter of fact, Pascaline came to me for forgiveness and I had to follow her to the doctors for a series of tests. Pascaline doesn't have that disease. Yes. What? The doctor confirmed it. Have you seen today's papers? Today's papers? Yes. Today's papers. <laughs> Love for a crown there. 